white blue deck. So I think that's where he wants Nevermore the most. Evan Rice, rocking his Card Kingdom t-shirt, one of the uh, awesome stores in the Seattle area. Gotta support your local shop. Yep. Evan again as the higher seed will be on the play. Looks like Evan is happy, happy. Jacob, yeah. Jacob considering his options. Okay. Jacob's going to roll with it. We are underway. Finals of SCG Seattle. Turn one champion of the parish. Just a hollowed fountain there from Jacob. Passing back to Evan. We will see if he has a human or the dreaded Thalia that we spoke about. We're just going to see a Knight of Glory, which is nothing to, no, nothing yeah, to ignore. still a fine start. It's going to be an attack for three with the Exalted Trigger, knocking Jacob down to 17. So a good start for Evan. Pressure is key here. Farseek will be key for Jacob if he has it, and he does. Yep. We have another Halothon in the hand, so I assume we are getting a Temple Garden. Good start for both players. Jacob able to ramp. Evan already be able already being able to lead off with some pressure. Arguably his best one drop in his deck in Champion of the Parish. And though it's not a Thalia, Knight of the Glory is still relatively good here. Yep. Although now, you know, this is where things become very tricky for um, Yeah, and now sorry. they're now they're making sure that he can search for a Temple Garden with Farseek, which of course you can because it is a plains yep. that he's searching for. So yeah, this is where the game becomes very begins becomes very challenging for Evan because now he's in uh, Supreme Bird Clan. Yeah. He's an option next turn, so that's going to sculpt his play for the remainder of the game. So a broken sleeve here for Jacob. And Jacob, we got a short glimpse of his hand. We do know that there is a hollowed fountain there. There's also a Thrag Tusk, a Sun Petal Grove. And a Jace Architect of Thought. Yep. But no uh, no Supreme Verdict? Did not catch a Supreme Verdict. Yep. So we'll see him de-sleeve a Tamiyo. Get this shields taken care of very quickly. And then we'll have playback underway. Yep. Be interesting to see what Evan can follow up with. And the three drops that he has in his deck are four Silverblade Paladin, Four life Sky Knights and four Geist of St. Trapped. I think the best of which is Geist of St. Trapped in this yeah. particular situation. Yeah. Silver Blade doesn't hurt, though. Yeah, it's a, I mean, uh, uh, the clock is substantial. He's going to be uh, facing lethal in, what is it, probably two turns? Yeah. If it's a Silver Blade Paladin. We do see a Silver Blade Paladin in his hand, but what we don't have is a third land for Evan. So we have uh, five coming in. And five damage will knock Jacob down to 12. And Evan looks like he's just going to fast the turn back. Could have a War Falcon here, but... And we do actually see a War Falcon in his hand, so now he's considering the ramifications of extending in the Supreme Verdict versus not, and I yeah. think... It's one of those things where how good is your War Falcon while you're stalled on lands? Yeah. Uh, as a follow-up to a Wrath is like... <laughs> yeah. Can't you gotta, yeah, you gotta get him out there. Oh. We are going to see a Jace Architect... That has to be a big sigh of relief from Evan for him to play a, a, a dual land on tap and it not be... This is a big draw. If he has the third land here, which he does draw Cavern, he has Silver. He does have Silver Blade Paladin. I'm not sure if this is a lethal attack. Pairs up with the largest champion. Champion, both both champion triggers are going to occur as well. It's a four four, so that's six double strike because of Jace. Seven eight nine. This is an attack for nine damage right now. Oof. So 
So we're looking at, so four, eight, so we are unwinding here, four, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he's a point short. So do you kill Jace here? I think, yeah, hold on. I'm confused. I mean, you have to, you have to split up the damage in such a way that he doesn't get to, you have to kill the Jace here, right? So, I mean, he may have to kill the Jace here. What they're deciding is, did he announce the Soulbound trigger for for Silverblade Paladin? Um. Soulbound is a is not a mandatory trigger. Well, now you almost certainly just had to kill Jace, right? I mean, if he's able to kill Jace, which is, yeah, I mean, he's able to kill yeah, Jace, yeah, so he, yeah. He has to just attack. He can split it up, so he's dealing one to Jacob and and five to Jace, I believe. Three, four, five, he can send to Jace. Because I just don't yeah. think you can allow Jace to, to factor. No, you can't, you can't allow Jace too to many looks at a. It's too many looks at a sweeper. Yeah. All right, he's, he's just going to go straight yeah, okay. across, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't particularly like this play, opening himself up to, again, what we saw last game uh, for Jacob Thiessen, which was the opportunity to see more cards. And with a deck this powerful, so he draws a Hinterland Harbor, you don't want to give him the opportunity to see more cards. So you see nope. an Alchemist Refuge, a nope. Seek, and a and Detention a Sphere. Sphere. All right, well, I mean, Evan's gamble definitely pays off, because I think now he can actually just power through a Thragtusk. Yeah, it looks like it may be the case. I mean, it's going to bring him up to 15. It's still going to be pretty difficult to power no, through. I don't think that, I don't know if that life total is is up to date because Jacob got Jacob just got attacked last turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yep, we're getting that up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's at four. Thank you. So yeah, now he can. I I think he can just slog through this. I'm pretty sure. Jacob goes one, up two, to nine. three, four, five, six. If he soul bonds something to the, he has a human. I think he wins the game because he can soul bond a double striker and just pump his guy. Like, okay, that'll work too. That's yeah, a, that's, yeah. that's also that's just, a human that's with the pain. Yeah, that's, that's just fine. Yeah, that does P it all. Pumple champions pair up with Silverblade Paladin, detain your Thrak Tusk, attack you for approximately a million. Mm -hmm. So even though a slight blunder by Evan Rice with the Soulbound trigger on Silverblade Paladin, still able to get the win up a game in the finals of, of the tournament. Yeah, I mean, uh, how do you feel about the way that that uh, what happened there got adjudicated? Hate is a word. Yep. That I would use. Right. I mean, I remember playing uh, Magic like 10 or 11 years ago in competitive level play. And it was weird, this weird thing where the rules enforcement on innocuous things was super draconian. Like, you know, you, for, you forget to announce something, whatever, it's a huge deal. But things that were actually cheating were just never caught or enforced. Sure. Um, and I'm not, you know, not to say that we're back in that, that sort of scenario now. But I do feel like Evan is having a bunch of triggers go on the stack. Jacob is tapped out. There's no action in the format that he can attack, that he can take. Evan isn't working with any new information. He's just resolving his triggers. And to lock him there out of like, nope, you you pass the point where you can announce your soul bond trigger. I think it's just, um, I don't think the the rules enforcement is is you know I don't think that's. Focusing the rules enforcement on the places where, like, actually needs to be enforced, which is, like, things that are cheating, things that are unclear communication, like, things in that space um, are where the actual risk is. Uh, there's no way Evan's getting an edge there by... Yeah. You know, there's, <laughs> He's there's, just resolving his triggers, you Yeah, know? there's arguments to be made of, well, you know, you, you, I'm not going to play the game for my opponent if you're on Jacob's side of things, but I am overall inclined to agree with you that, you know... I just it, I just don't like the way that that turn went down personally. But yep. let's get some trivia out there. We're gonna get a year. We're gonna get a year out there, Patrick. It is your turn to ask a difficult question or an easy question. So for one year of premium, Evan Rice is human deck in the finals of this tournament. Twenty three lands, thirty five creatures. Thirty six. Thirty six creatures. Sorry, one spell. Name that spell. Name that tune. Yeah. 
I can name that. I can. I can name that spell. Can you name that tune? I can name that spell in. It's the It's the theme song to Sanford and Son. I know that tune. Yeah, I was. I know that tune. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can name that. I can name that spell in five seconds. Okay. How many can you? Ooh, remind them, remind them how to enter. I, I think they know. No. no. Um, hashtag the SCG Premium. Yep. Um, send your answer of the one spell in Evan Rice's deck. There's just one. His main deck. His He's main got deck. some action Thank in you, the yeah. sideboard. But His yeah. one main deck spell. Uh, send the answer to hashtag at SCG Premium. You will win a full year of the finest magic articles on the internet. Yes. You are welcome. <laughs> So as you see both players go to the sideboard, we went over this briefly uh, for you guys. Jacob Thiessen, down a game. You have Jacob's deck list in front of you. We went over Evans a little bit here where I don't love the sideboard options. How about Jacob? Um, I think the extra copy of Supreme Verdict seems totally sweet. Uh, I could see wanting to have another Snapcaster Mage in place of something clunky like Garrick Primal Hunter. Sure. And that's really it um i mean you could bring in guys to same track to try to legend rule opposing guys um but i don't think that's one of the better cards he has in the matchup and the rest of his stuff seems better um although the detention sphere isn't isn't particularly efficient here it's probably still worth keeping in um certainly negate and dissipate stink yes so, without question um and i'm not a huge fan of uh of tamio in these like fast matchups I know the minus power can be good against certain boards, but any power, anytime that minus power is good on, on, against an opposing board, it probably means you, you've died yeah. already, <laughs> or about to die. Yeah, about uh, getting, getting close to dying, yeah. trying to draw some cards to get yourself out of the situation. So yeah, I would want another Snapcaster Mage in, in place of something unwieldy, um, and I would want um, another Supreme Bird. Like, if I was in Jacob's position, he, he clearly knows this deck a lot better than I do. I would probably be cutting um, a Sphinx's Revelation and a Garrick for a Snapcaster and a uh, Supreme Verdict. Okay. That's where I would go. Okay. I still do think that, yeah, Celestia Charm is still perfectly reasonable here as well. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it's actually, uh, it actually can trade with stuff. Yeah, I mean, it can also, <laughs> you know, like, it can trade with stuff. And I think it's completely reasonable that it actually kills Champion of the Parish at some point in the game. I, I think that, that can definitely be something that happens, so... Um, again, you guys do see Evan Rice's sideboard on screen. There isn't anything I particularly love in his sideboard. Nevermore being one of the options, maybe for the feeling of dread, just a quick one-for-one -one swap. But other than that, there isn't anything that I truly love to beat Band Control here. Um, but he did make game one certainly look easy. Yes. So we'll see if he can do that again. Be being on the play, obviously, a big deal there. Far if, if, uh, if, Evan, if Jacob was on the play and far seeking last game, I think we have a completely different game there. Oh, yeah, for sure. So Jacob taking a mulligan down to uh, six cards here. Evan uh, appears to be keeping his hand. Yeah. Or he is weirdly deep in thought about a mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> he looks rather pleased with his opening seven. I see a one drop on the horizon. The yeah. question is, War Falcon or Champion of the Parish, who's it going to be? Yeah. How about that Roethlisberger jersey? I was really about to bad. say, that Steelers throwback is too bad. Yeah, it's, it, it just really is. It's, it's on the forefront of my mind. Yeah. Some Charlie Brown action. So we'll see Jacob is going to keep his six. <laughs> We're going to see a Temple Garden. And it, it is a champion of the, the parish. The champ. The champ is here. He's Farseek here. He has a Zorius charm. We we'll see Temple Garden. We say it Oh, is. boy. Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Fortunately for Jacob, his hand is actually reasonably land heavy, so he might be able to slog uh, through this, but a very, clearly a very good start for Evan. Angel Serenity, the draw step there for Jacob. Again, Thalia, one of the, one of the big reasons this matchup does feel winnable for Evan. Uh, worse on the draw, as you can see, Jacob can actually still cast his Orius Charm, but still, going to tie up his mana. Yep, I mean, if, if, if Evan was on the draw with this... Uh, Evan was on the play with his hand. I would be ready to ring the bell. Yeah, this would be a disaster as we see another champion of the parish. It looks like we're going to see an elite inquisitor. Misses, misses the other champion of the parish trigger.
You're a little late. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> even a, by my stand, even you, by my admittedly <coughs> friendly standards, that's a little late. Yeah, on that you one. are a little late on that one. <laughs> even for even for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I hate the mandatory trigger rule. That one's a little bit late. As we're going to see a far seek here from Jacob. You're going to need to pay one more yeah. for that muffler. You're lucky they didn't ten blood that like they used to, where it would have been pay one more or it's countered. Yeah, <laughs> like, pay one more, pay one more yeah. or you're disqualified from the tournament. Yeah, it's fine. It's yeah. countered. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't need it. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Jacob's hand at this point is a sixth land in hand, plus Thragtos and Angel of Serenity. So certainly a lot of power. Yes. Um, but uh, definitely exposed to something like Sublime Archangel. Um, if Evan has access to... To such a, a threat. Evan draws his card for the turn. We do know that his champion of the parish that was on top of his deck because of Azorius Charm. So let's see what he can muster up this turn as we're going to see just an attack here for two, three, four, five. The League Inquisitor should be untapped because of Vigilance. So we will get that fixed for you guys. And we'll see a Thraktusk here for Jacob, basically negating that attack. So what do you think, uh, what do you think he's slow rolling over there? I mean, he's holding things to play around, you know, a Wrath type effect, but I don't think that he can afford to do that with, you know, access, with Jacob access to at least five mana, I mean. It's also just like, all right, so you, you have a champion of, of the parish left over with no other guys in your hand? So yeah. I, I mean, it's a tough... Tough to rebuild off of that. We're gonna, okay. We're going to see a Sublime Archangel here. That's some action. We'll see an attack here. And he will announce his four exalted triggers. Don't worry, it's, it's probably blocking. Oh, he's just taking the hit. Yeah. I guess his plan is just to uh, Supreme Archangel away everything. So, yeah, so that Archangel, all that action. Yeah assuming that, he, yeah, assuming that he has the seventh land, which he does, yep. in a... Sun Petal Grove, we are going to see Angel Serenity here clean up the mess. Give me that. And that. that. And, and that. that. And that. that. <laughs> Evan going down to 15 now. Very have, land heavy. Two lands in hand plus, I guess, his 1-1. Uh, his one -one. Yeah, his champion of the parish. Left something in the bank. We, we have access to his 75 cards, as does Jacob, as do you guys at home. There's no Oblivion Rings coming. Yes. As we see a champion of the parish here. There's no way for him to get these monsters off the Ooh. table. Detention Sphere. Sure. Clean those up. Clean this up. We're going to be playing a third game, folks. There is no miracle coming. Yep. Yep. Don't be too proud. Yeah, it's okay, man. You get to go first, game three, Evan. Yeah. Yep, okay. All right, he's, <laughs> he's decided I will play first game three. All right, I do fine. get to do that. You win this one, yep. fine. So, yeah, it was actually pretty uh, impressive, that game. Uh, Falia was actually not prohibitive for... There's a, to work around. there's a big difference between Thalia on the play and Thalia on the draw. It's yeah. a huge difference. Yep. As good as Thalia is, if you have it on the play, it is a huge backbreaker. You see both players shuffling up for game three. I've been taking a look at his sideboard once again. Again, I don't think that too much is going to change here, um, but he is moving some cards in and out. I just don't think that the sideboard options are, are that great. He did bring an Elite Inquisitor. Uh, I was a little bit surprised to see that. Not sure what he would board out for that. I think that his other two drops in Precinct Captain, Knight of Glory, and Thalia are better than Elite Inquisitor. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, it wouldn't surprise me uh, if just, you know, psychologically you just cut your Knight of Glory against the non-black decks. But I sure. would actually rather just have an Exalted guy than Elite Inquisitor. That's what I. That's what I. Uh, it's also possible he's just siding in, uh, like, a, a tighter curve on the play. But I don't, I don't really know where he would, what modifications he would make to, to have that switch available. Yeah, I'm not quite sure either. I'd be very surprised to see the Feeling of the Dread still in this deck. But uh, other than that, I'm not, maybe he just cut Feeling of Dread for one, one Elite Inquisitor. 
Maybe that was a swap that was made. I thought when he was fanning through his sideboard, I thought I saw some Knights of Glory. Okay. I'm not. I I, I could be wrong, but I, that's the R I thought I saw. So yep, third game for the Seattle title. We're gonna we are gonna crown a champion, give out a trophy, and do a winner's interview today. We're also gonna give out one full year of Star City Games Premium as well uh, for you viewers at home that are up this early. I guess it's late. It's, yeah, it's the afternoon. Late, it's the afternoon on the East Coast. Yeah. Well, but on the best coast, West Coast, it's early. Hmm. Not so sure about the best coast thing. Pardon me? I mean, I live I live on the West Coast, and I prefer to be back East. I know you're from Jersey. Yes. That's where my heart is. That's awful. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't understand. I mean, you do understand. You're from, like, Cleveland or whatever. You yeah, understand. and you understand why I hate the East Coast. I'm from Cleveland. <laughs> You understand being attached to things that are bad. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, for my entire life. <laughs> Our lake caught on fire. Yeah, well. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that is true. That is awful. <laughs> yeah, try not to laugh. It's a, that's <laughs> that an is, accurate fact. I'm that not making pretty, that up. I mean, that is pretty bad. Our best athlete left our city on national television. Uh, they that, took our football team. Just took it away. <laughs> You think I'm ever moving back to the East Coast? I mean, the Nets, the Nets left New Jersey, man. That was a heartbreaker. He took it. They just took it away. They didn't even care. And need I remind you, our lake caught on fire. That is, that is pretty bad. Although, you know. Yeah, there's a lot that compares with that. Go ahead. Yeah, you're right. Anytime going out, being like, oh, you mean they're from Jersey Shore? <laughs> so, you know, there's... <laughs> All right, turn one War Falcon. Matched by a hollowed fountain. Both players have kept their seven. Evan, gonna need that human. Elite Inquisitor to the draw step. I see Athalia. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Boom. War Falcon coming across. The amount of synergies that are going on in this, it's like Glacial Fortress comes into play on tap. Valia turns on War Falcon. No spells in my deck. It's like just <laughs> yeah. such a tight package of, of little synergies. So awesome. So we're going to see a Temple Garden. We also do see a Supreme Verdict and a Zorius Charm in Jacob's hand. So he definitely has tools to get through this as we see Cavern of Souls drawn for Evan this turn. The question is, Evan, what do you got? We mm. see an attack for four. We don't see Silverblade Paladin just yet. Do they have Geist, maybe? No. I think I see Elite Inquisitor coming. We do. We see a Moral haunt. haunt. Making Supreme Verdict a little less good. We also see a Detention Sphere that can't be cast right now. So if you're in Evan's, uh, assuming Evan doesn't have another Thalia in his hand, okay. do you not attack with Thalia this turn? A good question. Um, I that think... opens you up into Azorius Charm into Yeah, I like, I like holding steady. No Thalia. All right, we're getting in. Coming across anyway. We see Thalia get that out of here. Get that weak stuff out of here. I guess also if he has somehow has a Nevermore in his hand, that could be an argument for shipping value. Yeah, his but. hand is double precinct, Captain, right now, and then right, two right. lands. So, yeah, I, th I like holding steady there. And then I would just... I, it's hard to say if I would just have played double precinct, Captain, uh, for the turn. But in any event, I think I would have not attacked with Thalia. All right, well... That's three for one time. For Supreme Verdict. Yeah, because this way, if he doesn't attack with Thalia that turn, he can just play Precinct Captain. Um, you know, pass the turn back. Maybe, you know, Jacob plays Attention Sphere, what have you. And then he can attack with his guys and leave Morland Haunt open to be able to make a token, as we see Thraktos here from yeah. Jacob. Jacob just ripped his uh, fifth land there. Jacob's hand of Detention Sphere, additional Thraktos. There's actually two Detention Spheres, a second Thraktos, and a Mystery Card. Threatening to take this game over real fast. We could really use a flyer. Sublime Archangel is the best draw right now for Evan. And again, it's not even that great of a draw because there are two detention spheres looming. Evan obviously doesn't know that, mm -hmm. but that is what's incoming. I mean, it's easy to say with full information, like seeing his uh, Azorius Charm plus Supreme Burke in hand definitely raises the question, uh, but he's just drawn a Garrick. And Thragtusk coming in. There's, uh, are we just blocking with two first strikers? Yeah. Pretty good block. Oh, safe block. Yeah. 
I mean, he good could block. Have, good I mean, good he block. could have his Zorius charm to make that block worse. Yeah. But I mean, moving in. Yep. I'm in. A, I'm in a pretty bad spot. And if you have a Zorius like charm, I'm probably I, not beating it. Yeah. Yeah. I like. Uh, I like Evan just being like, yep, just. I'm only the odds that uh, the odds that you have um, Selesnya charm probably lower than the odds that uh, you're aware of the first strike on these guys. Yeah, I mean, and there were there were yeah. a lot of things there that right. could that could make his double block bad. There's Selesnya charm, there's Zorius charm, there's Snapcaster Mage for Zorius charm. There were a lot of things that could make it bad, but he's in a, he's in a bad situation, so I think you have to make that. Block. Yeah, I like it. Not gonna. You might win, but you're not gonna bluff me out. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so we do see detention sphere, far seat detention sphere, Garuk, primal hunter. That can't be cast right now. Detention sphere looks like it's probably gonna clean up Falia. Seems likely. Certainly with Snapcaster and uh, a bunch of spells in hand, Falia is still being uh, pretty prohibitive for Jacob to work around. So you see Thraktos come across. We're going to see a Moreland Haunt activation here for Jacob. Yep. So I'm trying to threaten some beatdowns in the air. Oh, pretty good draw. I think he just drew a... Uh, Lose uh, Sky Knight? Yeah. Allows him to get in with his, uh, his captain. It's another flyer. Yeah. But he opts to detain the Thrag Tusk and get in with the two flyers and just say go. I think I would have been, I think I would have hit, I would have just hit the beast, I think. Yeah, I think you have to hit the beast. You have to get in. You get a soldier from the precinct captain. Yep. You know, it just changes the way. It may, it may change the way Jacob needs to play. I mean. It's another two spot. Yeah, and every damage counts at this point because there is so much life gain again in Jacob's deck. As you just saw his draw stuff for the turn, what's Sphinx's revelation? We're we looking at a far seek detention sphere. Uh, well, at least a far seek. Wouldn't be surprised yeah. to see a detention sphere. The thing is, I, I think that that uh, I think a reasonable game plan for Jacob at this point is to Snapcaster uh, Supreme Verdict and Sphinx's revelation. Yeah. And so you would prefer to hold a detention sphere until after you. After you've done that. Right. Sure. After you've executed that that part of the game plan. But we are just going to see Detention Sphere right now. Take care of Life Sky Knight. And, and Patrick, I definitely think I agree with you. I don't think there's a huge rush to make that particular play. Yeah. I think with Snapcaster, with Snapcaster Mage and Supreme Verdict in the in the graveyard, I think the Detention Sphere is actually the card that wraps things up. Yeah. For the next threat. As we see Hollow Fountain and War Falcon in Evan Rice's hand. So you see an attack for two, knocking Jacob down to 13. We're gonna see a War Falcon. And there's the Hollow Fountain. So there is an opportunity for another Moreland Haunt activation. Yep. Jacob draws another Farseek. I think we're going to see exactly what you just talked about. Yeah. So we see a Moreland Haunt activation right now. So what happens if he just puts everything in front of the threat? If he puts his two guys in front of the threat? Okay, we're just jumping. He puts his two guys in front of the threat, just makes a beast, and I still think he's Supreme Verdict and clears the board, personally. Especially, especially with the main phase Moreland Haunt activation. Sure. You see all the creatures go bye bye, leaving Jacob with a beast, 13 life, a Garrick Primal Hunter, a Far Seek, and a Sphinx's Revelation left in hand. Feeling pretty comfortable. Yeah. Looks like we may be crowning a new champion in just a moment. Cavern of Souls, the draw for Evan. He needs a. Uh... He needs Sublime Archangel stat to have any chance of being able to power through this. Yeah. I mean, like, this this turn. Glacial Fortress, the draw for, draw for Jacob. Able to get in for three, knock Evan down to six. Just this Garrick turn, plus Beast. Yeah, this turn, Garrick plus Beast to have lethal on the table. 
We're going to see a Moreland Hunt activation here on the end step. Removing the precinct captain, making a spirit. Yeah, I think I he just think drew. I think he just drew uh, something that was not small archangel. Yeah. Well, one white is either going to be a champion of the parish or a war falcon for him. And that's not going to do it against an active Garrick and these beast tokens. Beast mode. Yeah. In we go for one. I like it. We have a champion of the parish. And Evan does have one more Moreland Hunt activation left. We see an island drawn. We see an attack. Confident man. Yep. Jacob Thiessen. He can sense it. He's going to take another beast. Yep. We're going to see a revelation on the end step for sure. Yep. There's another Moreland Hunt activation. Two cavern souls in Evan's hand. I believe we'll be seeing a concession shortly. Evan searching for a way that I presume does not exist. As we see Sphinx's revelation. 4-5, gaining 5, Jacob going up to 17, Detention Sphere, Zorius Charm, all those are drawn, Detention Sphere is going to get cast, it's going to clean up these Spirit Tokens, Evan will be able to make one more, but one more is not going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a champion of the Star City Games, in. Seattle. And Jacob Thiessen. Ben Roethlisberger look-alike. Yeah, Jacob, Jacob Thiessen. Thiessen. There's Charlie Brown throwback. Is your star Overcoming City Turn to Thalia on the draw. Yes. He is your Star City Games Seattle Standard Champion. Congratulations again to Jacob Thiessen. Winning with Bant Control. A different take on the deck. Yep. No counter magic. No Restoration Angels. Removal heavy. Planeswalker heavy. Yep. And a winner. I'm actually, I actually do like the absence of Restoration Angel in that deck. Because you saw it's like, once he was Thrytusking and Angel of Serenity, it's, that was enough to stabilize the game. 